A corporation is an abstract concept. So when it acts, it inevitably acts through people, its members and shareholders, or the officers that lead the corporation, or through its employees. As a result, a corporation can be held vicariously liable if an employee's negligence causes harm to another person. Corporations often try to limit this potential liability by having employees sign contracts not as employees, but as independent contractors. That's what happened in this case. Vabu Proprietary Limited operated a courier firm called Crisis Couriers. Presumably, they intended to suggest that they could avert your crisis, although in this case, they caused one. Hollis stepped out of a building and was mowed down by a bicycle courier wearing a crisis courier's jacket. The courier called out an apology, but didn't stop. Hollis required surgery and had permanent injuries. He sued Vabu, who claimed that they couldn't be vicariously liable because their couriers were not employees, but rather were independent contractors. Now, it's long been understood that merely making someone sign a contract as a contractor doesn't actually make them one. For a long time, the primary test the courts used was called the control test. So the court asked how much control the corporation had over the way the employee or contractor went about their business. In this case, however, the court went further and took what has been described as an integration approach, looking at all the facts that affected the corporation's relationship with its couriers. They considered the facts that couriers were not obtaining jobs independently, couriers were unable to refuse jobs they were allocated, the company controlled the courier's dress and appearance, the company supervised the courier's financial arrangements, and the company derived a benefit from the couriers riding quickly and unsafely. The majority judges said, viewed as a practical matter, the bicycle couriers were not running their own business or enterprise, nor did they have independence in the conduct of their operations. A consideration of the nature of their engagement, as evidenced by the employment documents and by the work practices imposed by VABU, indicates that they were employees. Those first words are important, viewed as a practical matter. This case tells us that a court will look realistically at the whole contractual relationship to determine whether someone is an employee and therefore whether the corporation should be vicariously liable for any harm they cause.